Hello YouTube! In the last video, we made a random number generator. In this video, you can interface it to your Arduino using a program that we're about to make. What this program is going to do is either write a seed or read data. To get the seed, you type it in with a serial monitor. It'll wait a little bit for it to get the result and then it will take the 4-bit input, convert it, and then output it. In this example, we're not using the 4-bit decoder. If you want to do that, then you pretty much just have a whole bunch of if statements with checking each of the lines. This is just a safe I.O. space. Because if you don't have a mega, you don't have enough I.O. lines. So to start off, I'm going to do enter, enter, void setup. One of this just to give us space to put variables in later, then initialize setup. For now, we're going to do serial, or sorry, capital S serial dot begin at 9600 baud. Eventually we're going to put some pin modes in here, but for now we don't need those. So we can just close it. Extra enter space just because void loop. Now might be a good time to initialize the variables before we get into the loop. I'm very creative, so I'm going to use A, B, C, and D as our inputs. So int A, int B, int C, and int D. Those will be the inputs from it. I could do an input, just or an enter, just to make sure that those get their own space and these get their own space. Here we're going to do int. Let's do seed A, int seed B. int seed c and int seed d. This is the variables that you write to. Sorry about that. In the loop, first thing you want to do is get the, the c from you and then just output it to it wait maybe a tenth of a second to give it long enough to do all, all the computing and then read it and send it out so in the void loop we're going to do check to see if there's anything in serial buffer if there isn't anything then we just keep on reading to do this we'll use a while loop to check if anything's available so while serial dot of available I'm really tired so I cannot spell right today equals zero just open and close parentheses. Don't do anything until there's something in the buffer. When there's something in the buffer, we want to read it out. So we're going to initialize another temporary thing. So we're going for temporary value to store it in. Int temp seed. Just to store the seed temporarily. So here we're just simply reading out what's in the buffer. In order to get the seed, we're going to do seed A equals temp seed C. 
single ampersand because we're doing bitwise and B0001. Seed B equals temp seed one ever. Let's go up on this one. Temp seed and B0001. Zero, 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 zero. Seed C e equals temp seed and B0100. Zero, zero, zero. And then seed D equals temp seed and B1000. One, zero, zero, zero. And that way, if it just takes this number and converts it into a binary value that we can use to output onto the bus. So next, we want to do digital right. Pretty much any pin you want. I'm going to use 24 through 27. So we are now writing this out onto the output buffer. Now we cannot read it immediately, so we're going to delay for about a tenth of a second, or delay 10. Yeah, that's right. No, 100. Sorry. So after delaying, we can now read off the buffer, and then convert it, and output onto the bus again or onto the serial. So now we're going to do digital read. I'm going to use 28, 29, 30, and 31. We're going to do A equals B equals digital read on 29 at 29 forget the semicolon or the closing parenthesis C e equals digital read on pin 30 and then D is digital read on pin 31 and then we can just convert this into a decimal value we're doing B to convert that into a decimal value. And then I'll go up there and put it later, but result equals A plus B plus C plus D and then serial dot si capital serial dot print result and then you can put a delay state statement if you feel like it so I just went ahead and added in the variable result so we have 5 for the outputs and 5 for the inputs is we initialize ten variables, four for the no, screw it, mouse. Whenever the processor gets too hot, the mouse starts moving on its own up and to the left. It gets really annoying. So it we also have C A, C B, C D, and C D, which is what you input. Temp seed, which is what you actually input it, which gets converted. Set up serial stuff, which I need to put in pin mode. So I'll put them in, 24 through 27 are on outputs, and then 20 through 29, 20 through 31 are on inputs. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next.